Hi, I'm Jason Cotta, and I am a fly fisherman. So let's take a few steps up here. So what you're gonna do is, so you're gonna watch that fly. So that's a dry fly. So hopefully we'll see a fish come up and eat it on, on top. Stop nice and high. There we go, perfect. What drives your passion? I'd say it's a, it's a combination of things. So one, it's just being inside. So I hate being, I hate being cooped up, right? So it gets me outside and fly fishing is just another cool excuse to be outdoors. So it's a, it's a little odd because uh, usually I'm out here fishing with my wife. Yeah, honestly, it's been a while since I've I fished with one of my buddies or, or with another guy. So, uh, so you're it's kind of interesting. You're out here with women. Yeah, out here with, with women. What, what, why is that? Well, they, as it would turn out, they love to fish too. <laughs> And uh, Orvis, actually a big thing that we're doing right now, a big initiative that we have is called 50-50 on the water. And our goal is by 2020 to have 50% of the anglers out there be women. Hold on a second. We got more women out here. Let's stop the story, restart this thing, and get a woman on the water. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Just hold on to that with your index finger. Good. How do you feel about the idea of getting more women on the water? I mean, I do think people think of women like hiking and going outdoors, but maybe not fishing as much. I mean, it still kind of seems like a male dominated thing. You should just shake it out. <laughs> and then from here, straight back, there you go. You know, the fly fishing industry for the longest time has been uh, definitely very kind of male oriented. But Orvis, we are very involved with trying to get more women in the sports. Is it weird for you now to like want to go fishing you're like the only girl. Because <laughs> my husband doesn't want to go? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I just need to find other women who will hang out with me. I just need to know how to like find accessibility like this, you know, where I could just pull up in my car with my equipment and go fishing. All right, so you guys ready to get waitered up? Go catch some fish? Yes! yes. All right, yes. let's do yes. it. Maybe I should use the bathroom one more time. So let that just totally straighten out behind you. Okay. So let it keep going, keep going, keep going. And then roll it. Just just cast it right that way. Nice. That's money. Our goal is by 2020 to have half of the fly anglers out there be women. And we do a lot of lady specific classes as well. We have a couple of great ladies that work at the shop that teach the classes. So um, it's women being taught by women and they do these classes, go out fishing, and have a great time. I think I always had an appreciation for nature because I went fishing and because I spent a lot of times out, a lot of time outdoors. Yeah, the, the catching is a is a bonus. I mean, that's why we call it fishing and not catching, right? It was fun. Yeah. This is fun. I love this. Any luck, Jason? Not yet, but I'm gonna keep at it. And speeds being at the office. Very true. <laughs>